Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsey Cruz and this is 50 Facts About Me. The first thing you need to know about me is that I do not like long YouTube intros. Um, the reason that I made this video is, get to the point lady, like I'm here to watch a tutorial, not like hear about your life. So I am 27 years old. I am 5'11". I am a natural redhead. This is obviously not natural. I like to make it a lot more vibrant red. I don't really accessorize. I buy them and then I don't wear them. I also really rarely wear lips. I'm actually not wearing any right now. So I'll spend a lot of time on like my foundation, my contouring, and my eyes, and then I don't put on any lips. And I don't know why, I just don't. I have the best family ever, and I know that everyone probably says that, but like, I really mean it. They really are amazing. They've never pressured me to like become like a doctor or a lawyer. Whenever I decided in college that I wanted to be a theater major, they were like, good, you finally found something you're passionate about, like go do it. And then a couple years ago, I changed my career to a, a hair and makeup artist, and they're like, great. They've always been finding me clients. They've been super supportive of my dreams, and uh, they're really funny. I can't burp. I don't know how to make my body burp. I do fart like a 400 pound man though. This is really weird, but I don't get those like black tears when I cry. And sometimes I'll be in a movie theater and be crying and I'll get out and be like, oh gosh, I bet I look terrible. And I get to the bathroom and I, like nothing has happened. My right eyebrow is much lower than my left. Like in pictures I'll be like, hey, because this one is way lower. Sometimes in photos I'll look like I'm like, but I'm not, it's just way lower. My biggest pet peeve is when people are on their phones while they are talking to me and my friend Lauren gave this pet peeve to me whenever I ask you a question and you're like, what? When people have their phone on the table at dinner, like why did you leave the house? Yeah, I want to stay in touch with people. My phone is important to me. Um, I'm on it a lot but not when I'm around other people. Another pet peeve of mine is when my ears show. And there's nothing wrong with them. They're not like huge and sticky outy. Oh, I just don't like when they stick out. Probably the coolest thing about me is that um, I've had a job since I was 13. My parents bought my brother and I a snow cone stand. And Cruises Caribbean Eyes, it's the best. So that's really what gave me my like entrepreneurial spirit because if your dream job isn't out there, you have to create it for yourself. I'm left-handed. I drive a little tiny Toyota Yaris. I have a cat named Sadie. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you already know all about her. I've had the same best friend since I was five years old. Her name is Rosie. And if you have known me for any amount of time, then you know about Rosie. I'm actually really proud of that friendship. Not many people can say they've been friends with someone for 22 years. And we're obviously not the same people we were when we were five years old. We went through our teens together. We went through college together. And she's married now. She lives in Los Angeles. I live in Oklahoma. But we still talk almost every single day and we're still really tight and I just, I love that about us. Jason Mraz is the best singer, songwriter of ours or any generation, according to me. If you don't already love him, you should go check him out. Beyonce is my second favorite artist. I, I can say that she's my, my favorite female artist. I've worked for some really cool makeup brands, Urban Decay, Napoleon Purtis, uh, Derma Doctor, and It Cosmetics recently. I love special effects makeup. I'm still learning more and more about it myself, but I have this huge respect for it. I can do the basics, like cuts and scrapes, black eyes, um, bald caps, old age, stuff like that, but the really intense stuff, like in face off, like that stuff blows my mind. I went to the States, track me four years in a row for high jump. People always ask me if I play basketball because I'm so tall and I'm like, no, I was a high jumper. I went to basketball camp once and I like jammed my finger immediately. I was like, I'm done. My favorite YouTubers are Jaclyn Hill, Amber Fellera, Desi Perkins, and Crispy. If you're not an avid fan of YouTube gurus, then that's a great starter pack for you. My goals in life are to really open a makeup studio. That's my immediate goal. A hair and makeup studio where brides and bridal parties can get ready for their big day. Long term, I would like to have several businesses. I have several dreams that I want to accomplish. I'd love to own a luxury apartment complex. I'd love to own a restaurant. I'd love to own a bar. I've been to Ireland and London. I've been to Canada and I've been to Mexico. Those are all the places I've been outside of the United States. And I definitely wanna to go to a million more places. I love to travel. I climbed the tallest peak in Colorado. A lot of people think that the tallest peak in Colorado is Pikes Peak, but it's not. It's called Mount Elbert, and we've climbed it several times, and it's really fun. I'm frequently late to arrive to an occasion, and I tried to break the habit so many times, but that's just me. I know every single word to every single episode of Friends. Don't test me on it. I'll beat you at a game of friends seen it any day of the week. Love Actually is my favorite movie. I used to be scared of heights, but I think I've conquered it. Even though I love hair and makeup and I loved living in Dallas and I love being a city girl, I'm really pretty outdoorsy. 
I want to go bungee jumping. I'm pretty anxious. I think on the scale of like depression to anxiety and then like normal is in the middle, which who is normal? I'm definitely more anxious. I love tattoos and piercings. I love them. I only have a couple myself, but I'm all about them for other people. I'm also all about plastic surgery. I haven't had any myself yet, but I fully support other people doing it. Do what makes you happy. Be safe. Love yourself. I have a size 10 foot. I have big old feet, but I'm tall. So if I had small feet, I would just fall over. People say I look like Susan Sarandon. I can see it, but I'm also really tired of hearing it. My favorite feature about myself is my eyes. They're big and buggy, but I have learned to love them. I am usually overdressed. It's a habit I picked up in Dallas. That's just what you do. And in Oklahoma, that ain't what you do. And people are always like, are we supposed to dress up? You're so dressed up. And I'm like, no boo, I just love to dress up. I'm also usually dressed way too warm. I wear sweaters and jeans and boots all throughout summer. I was born and raised in Stillwater, Oklahoma. I was a theater undergrad, so I loved stage makeup and special effects and cool stuff like that, but it was never like my forte. When I moved to Dallas, I started working for Ulta. They taught me the difference between like formal makeup and street makeup and all the different ingredients that a person should use. And I worked there on and off for the entire time I was in Dallas. Even when I was doing other jobs, I would come back and work for Christmas or for the summer um, because because I just love that company so much. So from there, I started teaching theater and I taught at the Dallas Children's Theater and then I got my certification and I started teaching full-time at a middle school in Dallas and I taught theater. Just to keep it short, um, it was not my dream job. My friend DeAndre actually encouraged me to become a makeup artist full time. He said, you should make makeup videos, you should become a makeup artist, you should go for it. And honestly, he is a huge reason why I did that. I started taking makeup classes and hair classes. Um, in Texas, there isn't really a makeup artist license, um, but you can take classes and freelance all you want. And then I started working at a really cool company called Norcosco Texas Costume, and it's a uh, theater and film supply store. And I was a manager of the makeup department. They had a costume department and then they also had a tech department that sold curtains and fog machines and lights and gobos and all kinds of stuff. So it was just an amazing place to work because it combined my love of makeup and my love of theater. But about a year ago, I just decided, you know, I had a really tiny niece and nephew and every time I came home to Oklahoma to visit, um, they wouldn't know who I was. And that's just not okay with me because I told you how awesome my family is. So I decided I wanted to learn more about the business side of things. I've always been really creative, but I knew that if I wanted to go into business for myself, then I needed more training. So I decided to enroll in the um, entrepreneurship program at Oklahoma State. It's a master's level program that I'm in. So now I teach entrepreneurship to undergraduate students and then I'm going at the graduate level myself. I started a channel a couple years ago and I didn't like the quality. I didn't have a good camera. I was using the webcam in my MacBook. And the quality was really fuzzy. I was doing makeup and you couldn't see what I was really doing in detail. I didn't have a very good lighting system and I just wasn't really doing anything unique with my videos and so I stopped doing it. Um, but I've always been a natural teacher and I just want to teach my passion. I want to teach hair and makeup and I think that uh, YouTube is an excellent outlet for that. So that's kind of a little bit of background about me. I just want to share one more thing with you guys. My goal with this channel is just to be as real with you as possible. Do I have some tips and tricks to share with you because I've had a few years of experience in the beauty industry? Yeah, but am I perfect? No. But if I can share some tips and tricks with you that make you feel more beautiful, then I have succeeded in this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was 50 Facts About Me. I'd like to tag Kelsey Adkins and Jasmine Ellis, and I will link their channels down below. They both have great YouTube channels. So thanks for watching, bye. You don't need to see it. Just trust me on that. They're sisters, but they ain't twins or something. And that is a real thing. <laughs> I can't remember who I worked for. I need to do it. They taught me a lot of really cool, the refrigerator.